Newell United near Swaddlingcote played Alastry, but it wasn't an ordinary match day. The club were presented with a new defibrillator, a potentially life-saving device. The funds have been raised by the family of Joe Kellogg. Joe was training with Borowash Victoria six years ago when he died from an undetected heart condition. I've started a petition which is on 9,000 signatures at the moment for it to be a law for every football club in the UK um, to have a defibrillator and that's something that's my aim and my family's aim. At these sorts of venues there's lots and lots of people who are taking part in physical activity and also people that just stood here watching and, and a tragedy could, could happen again then. We obviously wouldn't want anybody to go through what we've been through. Derbyshire football clubs were able to apply for the defibrillator and Newell United were chosen. The Easter ground is over 25 minutes to the nearest hospital, uh, so that was a key part of why the, the Kellogg's sort of chose Newell to be United. If it is needed, and we hope it isn't, then uh, it's most likely going to save somebody's life. Figures suggest 12 14 to 35 year olds die every week in the UK from undiagnosed cardiac conditions. More defibrillators could help. Simon Ward, BBC's Midlands Today, Derbyshire.